Good evening to everyone. Now I would like to take your attention on food safety importance. There are common foods such as fried potato, bakery products and coffee drinks that are very, very delicious. Also thanks to high temperature processing that induce chemical reactions very important to develop the main sensorial properties. Nevertheless, the same heat treatments are responsible for the formation of toxic compounds. One of those is acrylamide, classified by the International Agency for Research on Cancer as probably cancerogenic to humans. So you may easily understand how it is important to focus on this problem, because all these kinds of foods are commonly consumed worldwide due to their sensorial properties as well as their important nutritional value. Since the discovery of acrylamide presence, institutions and the regulation have become more and more restrictive concerning acrylamide levels allowed in foods. In fact, following the scientific opinion, the European Commission regulation on 2017 established acrylamide mitigation measure and benchmark levels for the food industries. So far, several techniques have been proposed for acrylamide reductions. Unfortunately, these strategies are not easy to apply at industrial scale. Moreover, most of these negative influence the organolectic and nutritional properties of final products. So, the challenge of my studies is to find positive solutions for acrylamide mitigation with an holistic risk-benefit approach. In particular, I'm focusing on the modulation of time temperature condition of coffee during coffee roasting, on the application of uh, uh, new formulation and uh, alternative cooking system for bakery products, and uh, on the use of innovative pretreatments uh, like pus electric fields before frying the potato chips. All these strategies are very promising because uh, can be potentially applied at industrial scale to bring safe foods on our plates without losing the desired taste and flavor. Thank you very much for your attention.